if you had bought this at the time, you would have a $790 gain. That's 29.81% gain in four days. Hey guys, I wanted to let you know the status of the last two options I suggested, which were Yum China Holdings and Humana. But before we jump into that, Let's take a look at the first one that I suggested was Hershey. As you guys may be aware of if you already watched this week's option picks, I bought Hershey on January 11 for $1,049.33. I bought a May 17th expiration, approximately four months, and $190 strike price. I didn't like the way I was mo it was moving. So I got out of it, and I took a $187.33 loss, and that was a 15.14% loss. However, this is January 30th, and like I said, the expiration is May 17th, a lot of time left. So what would have happened if I'd have held on to it? If I would have held on to it as of today, instead of having a 15.14% loss, I would have a $293.34% gain or a 23.72% gain. So, I was a little impatient, but I'd rather be impatient and take a small loss than have it blown into something much bigger. But as it turned out this time, it turned around. If I'd have held on, I'd have had a bigger gain. So let's look at Yum China. Now, Yum China is currently at $35.44 a share, so one star. Yahoo Analyst estimated can go up to $59.70 a share in the next 12 months. But Yum China is about to release an earnings report. And for those who aren't aware, an earnings report for a company is similar to a report card for an individual, for a child. The earnings report tells how the company did over the last three months. They're about to release that earnings report on February 6th. And an earnings report can be a little like being in a casino if you hold a stock. It can come out a bad earnings report and the stock can considerably drop. Or it can come out a great earnings report and the stock can considerably move up. I'm going to hold my Yum China. But if I hold it and the st stock drops, I can handle it. If you're holding a Yum China, option and you don't have the stomach for it you would want to get out before february 6th in any event currently at yum china i'm sitting on a 133 dollar and 32 percent or 13.98 32 cents or 13.98% um, paper loss, I guess you could say, an unrealized loss. What that means is I'm down that money, but I haven't sold the option yet. So I haven't really lost the money. By next month or next week, I could be up 20% next week or 50% next month. So it's not a real loss yet until the option has expired. Now, Humana, 
this was the last stock that I mentioned in this week's option picks. And that was last week. That was when we were still on this long red candle. There was no green candle to show yet. That green candle just started to form yesterday. And more today. So, I brought this up in this week's option pick last week. I showed you that an option with a May 17th expiration, a little short of four months, and a $360 strike price would cost $2,650. I didn't have the money available in my brokerage account to buy it, but I wanted to make you guys aware of it just in case you had the money to get it. And I also dropped the stock analysis for Humana so that you could check that out and have everything you need available to evaluate what you wanted to get with that. So here we are. This was January 26th. Now it's January 30th. We want to see what happened. If you had bought this at the time, you would have a $790 gain. That's 29.81% gain in four days. Just four days. But it's just one opportunity. Just keep looking at this week's option picks and look at them as soon as I drop those videos. Don't waste time. Because if you waste time, it may be too late to get into some deals. You don't want to go and look at a video. I dro Oh, I dropped the video three days ago or a week ago. That may be too late. You want to be subscribed to the channel. And as soon as you see that notification that I dropped the video, you want to check it out. In any event, guys. I need your help with something. So that's it for our option picks. But I need your help with something. I was speaking to a YouTube specialist about growing my channel, but with some organic growth. And what they advised me is that I need to narrow down on the topics in the area of finance that I speak about, and that would help the organic growth. I respect what they say, but I don't want to do that because I want to offer you guys as much information as I can in the area of finances. And you see, I speak on a wide range of topics. I speak on S blocks. I speak to a younger demographic, I speak to an older demographic, I speak on retirement, I speak on commodities, I speak on currencies and so forth. So what you guys can do for me, what I would appreciate you guys helping me with is for some of the videos in this channel, if you would check them out, and you would share them with others. If you have social media platforms, you would drop them on your platforms and share this information. I have this week's stock winners where I speak about which fundamentally sound stocks are starting to move up from their annual low prices. And even the stocks that I put in the, this week's option picks come from this week's stock winners. I do stocks on analysis where um, I break down the complete fundamental analysis on these stocks. And if you go in my channel, you'll actually see playlists where I have one playlist for just this week's stock winners. I have another play week just for this week's 
um, option picks. And I have another playlist for the fundamental analysis. I have various different playlists, so you can check that out. I do profit by sharing, where I explain that if you own a, a good stock and you tell others about it and they buy it, the price actually moves up. So that helps you. You're not benefiting by not sharing the information. You're benefiting by sharing it. I, I do do this before buying any stock I have in the channel, where it explains the things that you should look at before deciding if you want to buy any stock. And I have what are commodities, where it can explains something else of portfolio income. Stocks is part of a portfolio income, so are commodities, so are currencies. So I have various different videos, and I'd appreciate it um, if you guys could share some of these videos with others, whether it's people that you know or whether it's on your social media platforms or whatever. But in any event, you guys have a great night, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.